Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you these cute fuzzy little chicks. Not the real ones though, but an equally adorable wind up version of it. So let's get started. Hi chickies. That's adorable. These are so soft. These chicks are so precious. They're so cute. Do you remember or know the villains who chase Pac-Man through mazes? The chicks have the same colors as those ghosts. Since there is no red baby chick, I will name the white baby chick after the red ghost. The villains were collectively known as the Ghost Gang. These are a quartet of ghost characters from the Pac-Man video game franchise. I have named these baby birds after them. So meet Blinky, Inky, Pinky, and Clyde. Do you love cute little birdies? Then the wind-up chick is the perfect dust toy for you. This adorable chick makes a perfect dust pal. We leave stress by winding up this fuzzy chick and watching it hop across the desk. The wind up chicks will look so cute and friendly on your desk space that it might just make you smile. So how does all of this work? Well, batteries are not needed. A lot of toys before relied on wind up power and clockwork mechanisms. Clockwork means a mechanism with a spring and toothed gear wheels used to drive a mechanical clock, toy or other device. It has these essential parts though. It has a key or crown you wind to add energy. It has a spiral spring to store the energy you add with the key. This is known as the torsion spring. It has a set of gears through which the spring's energy is released. Now the gears control how quickly or slowly a clockwork machine can do things, but they can also control how much force it can produce. And it should have a mechanism the gears drive that makes the device do useful or interesting things. In case of this toy, it is the tiny jumps of the chick. So I remove the chick and expose the crux of the mechanism. So what we've got here is a Geneva drive that makes the legs hop intermittently. Here's how it works. So you wind up the white plastic crown. In this case, it's attached to this key. So you wind this up. The mainspring inside the black case that's the one that stores up all the energy. You can see it peeking around here at the bottom and you can see it on top. There it is. You can also see the gears inside this black case. They take the power from that spring and they drive the single crank on the outside of the case at a fairly low speed. What's the crank here in this case? It's this attached to the leg. That's the crank. Okay, so it takes, so the gears take all the energy from the spring and they give it to this crank over here, which makes the legs move. So the crank has a small plastic knob protruding from it. As it turns, it moves up and down the orange slot, rocking the top part of the legs back and forth. Now the legs pivot on an axle running through them. Thanks to the pivot, as the top part of the legs rock, the feet jump up and down. So this is known as an extension spring. It has an eye hook or simply a hook at each end of the coil for attachment to other components. When the spring is attached, the tension and resistance control constant energy. The further the spring is extended, the greater the resistance and energy is released. So that's clockwork for you in a nutshell. Who needs batteries when clockwork mechanisms are so much fun? And we're done. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Fiz, bye. Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.